Well, hello everyone. It is Gerd Amala here from Private Practice Success. I hope you are having a fabulous Monday. As usual, I'm coming to you for the 90 day vlog challenge. And as you can see from my number 80 on the screen, today is live vlog number 80. Can't believe it, only 10 more days to go until I've reached my goal. I wish I could do this in other areas of my life. For example, like when it comes to no sugar and more healthy eating. But um, I'm sure I have learned a lot that I could potentially apply across those areas. What I'm gonna do very quickly is share this in our um, Facebook groups so that we can make sure that as many of our community members actually sees this live stream should they be available right now. Hey Monique, glad to see you are live with me. How are you going on this Monday? How are things with you? Hopefully good. We just pop that in there. The thing of course with Facebook is that when you live stream from your Facebook page, it doesn't notify everyone unless of course, if you've actually asked Facebook to let you know that I am live and you can actually do that. Um, which is really great, but because a lot of people don't know how to do it or that they can even do it, I just share it in our Facebook groups and that way I know that nobody misses out. Fabulous. Cool. All right. I have one more to share it in. Then we will be set. Here we go in our marketing group. Oh. Almost wrong one. No, that's not going to work. Marketing. Fabulous. All good. So let me know how you're going, Monique. How's your Monday been? For me, uh, today has been a reset day. Uh, so if you've been following my uh, live vlogs, uh, you would have seen me a vlog this weekend from the Emporium Hotel where I spent two days with my master uh, mind group. So the mastermind group is a 12 month group. It's a closed group uh, that runs from January to December and we get together every quarter um, and quarter one we went to Sydney. This was the end of quarter two. We in Brisbane. Uh, the end of quarter three we'll be back in Sydney and then uh, end of quarter four we're gonna go to the Gold Coast because it's gonna be summertime and uh, that is always the the ultimate retreat for me that I really really enjoy uh, though each and every one is pretty special in its own way so I got together with those guys so needless to say it was a pretty intense weekend I absolutely love it uh, but it is hard work um, hence the need for a reset day today uh, you know, it is so important when you know that you've had a really hard week or maybe a, a more busier than normal week that you actually make the time to recover, so to speak. So for me personally, I'm an introvert. People always find it so hard to believe <laughs> that I do what I do. And then I say I'm an introvert. They just naturally assume, well, good, if you're going to speak live on Facebook, if you're going to be presenting workshops and trainings and programs and uh, weekend workshops and retreats, then you surely must be an extrovert, but actually I'm not. <laughs> okay, I have always been and will always be an introvert. Of course, you know, introvert and extrovert, it all happens on a continuum. And when you're really passionate about something, um, you will arrive or pitch up as an extrovert in order for you to do what needs to be done. And, and for me, that is pitching up and really 
teaching uh, my mastermind group or any other person that comes that, and does a program with me, whether that is online, whether that is in person, you know, for me to pitch up and be that extrovert that allows me to share my message. Because unless I'm able to step up and talk and tell people what I need to say, they can't hear that message, all right? Uh, but that also means that once I've done that, that I need to have a reset day, which is today, okay? And, and I guess the more and more I do step into my extrovert and share my message, the more I want to do it. Because what happens is I start to get feedback from people attending workshops and programs on how it's actually helped them. And there's no better reinforcement than that. So if I think about this weekend, the first thing we do at each and every retreat, um, and this normally happens on the Saturday morning, we all get together, we spend like half an hour, you know, just setting up expectations for the weekend. And then we have our accountability session. So that's basically where these practice owners pitch up and they report in on how it is they've been doing the last three months. So they each have a 90 day plan um, that has been drawn up covering all the seven secrets and they need to come and they need to go through everyone that's listed and either go, yes, I achieved that, excellent, and these were the results, or they need to go and they need to say, well, I didn't do it, okay? <laughs> and, and then they are held accountable for that. And that's a really important aspect of why people um, actually join my mastermind group. But, you know, it's also a really great opportunity to get that feedback for me as the facilitator, um, also for that person in front of their peers to stand up and go, and this is what I have achieved. Because I think so often, if you are a high achiever, if you are a high functioning person, you are consistently changing the goal po goalposts. So yes, you've achieved it, but now you wanna do this, and then you achieve this, and now you wanna do that, okay? And if you can relate to that, please let me know in the comments below. You know, press like, press love, if you can really relate to it, because I, I know for a fact that's what I do, and I, I've always done that. So this really allows them to go and say, this is what I've achieved, you know, and this could be um, really high level number money stuff. Like the one person um, said that she's had a tax planning meeting and net profit from the last financial year, net profit, not gross net, increased with, wait for this, 215%, okay? just like there was just celebrations all around, because that's really great. Because as we know, money and, and profit, and therefore money is a resource that allows you to be able to help more people, because if you have it, you can invest it back in your practice, in your team, in your clients, allowing you to help more people. So that's a really great thing. And you know, so it's this money number stuff. And for a lot of people, it's also more non-tangible stuff, stuff like time just having more time to uh, go home and be with your kids and spend time with your husband without still having a to-do list hanging over your head. Just getting that additional freedom that you never thought you can have, you know? And when I get that feedback, I just go, yes, this is so worth it. This is so worth it. Uh, my introvert being brave and stepping out and uh, being an extrovert, okay? And it's so great for the guys and, and, and for the, well, they're all ladies. I just use the word guys. I don't know, that's just the word I use. Uh, but for them to actually go, yes, I, I've done that. I've done that. That's what happens when you implement. That's what happens when you trust the process and every day you do what needs to be done where you don't get all consumed with, you know, geez, it's all this stuff that's on my 90 day plan. What we do is we look at the 90 day plan, we break it down, what do you need to do every month? What do you need to do every week? What do you need to do every day? And as long as you keep on doing those things, 
the results is just amazing. And of course, because we have a mastermind group, we have a weekly 90 minute check-in and that accountability is, is just gold. Accountability is so important. And I know for me personally, like if I wanna get healthy, if I wanna get um, fit, I know I need to do personal training. Okay, I need to have somebody that I'm gonna check in with, even if it's like just once a week, that's gonna go, how have you been going? Have you been doing your running? Have you been coming into the gym and doing some weights, that type of stuff? And although these are very driven, motivated, high-functioning practice owners, the accountability that they get um, through this process just allows them to step up even more and in achieve even greater things that they ever thought possible. Just checking here for any comments. So if you are here with me, I can't always see everybody's names. Sometimes Facebook will tell me and let me know. Other, other times it likes very secretive and it doesn't. Say hi, say hello. And if this is your first time on a live stream with me, please let me know so that I can welcome you properly. Okay. Yes, so, you know, although it's hard and, and, you know, you might be an introvert, I think that the reason why I thought, you know, I want to help people, how do I do it? And as a psychologist, we mostly work one-on-one, -on -one, so I thought, you know, that's going to fit me like a glove, my introvert, and, and that's why I love being a psychologist, still do. Um, but the more and more I get feedback that stepping things up gets great results, the more I can step into my extrovert. That being said, I still need my reset day, which after a very intensive two days of masterminding with my group practice owners is today. Yes, I'm still pitching up here. Why? Because I made a commitment to do a live stream every day for 90 days. Okay, I'm committed, I'm persistent, I'm determined. Three qualities that has held me in really awesome stead in terms of being in private practice for the last 10 years and building up two seven-figure private practices. Um, but, you know, I actually love what I do. Um, just because today was my reset day didn't mean that I didn't switch on the, um, the, the computer, the laptop, I still did. Uh, but I got up very calmly, got the kids to school. Uh, luckily, my daughter had a stay-at-home day because it's exam blocks. So I only had the two boys came back and immediately me and my daughter went for a run. For me, that was a great reset, just getting out there, running, getting the body moving. Yes, I would have loved to have actually gone back to bed and just sleep for six hours, but I thought, well, that's not gonna help me. Hi, Christine. Christine says, hi, Gerda. It is my first time on a live stream. Well, welcome. I am so glad that you are here with us. Fabulous, that is so exciting. Uh, yes, so um, what was I saying? I got completely off track now, thinking and being excited that you are here with us for the first time, so glad. And I love the little puppy dog that you have on your profile picture with you, Christine. Very, very lovely. I'm a dog lover myself. I've got a Pomeranian named Biscuit who is outside at the moment, otherwise he gets too naughty. So, as I was saying, I had my reset day today for my introvert, but I still do what work that other people consider work on my reset day. Why? Because for me, work can be very relaxing, um, especially when it's my introvert engaging in it. And I love it. It's, it's my passion. I'm not one to read trashy magazines. Uh, you know, I'm not one to go and roam the shops or stuff like that. I would just be bored out of my skull. I like doing my, my work. Why? Because it is my passion. But I also chose really well. I chose something that I was really excited to do this morning. And I only did this one thing, okay? Other than, of course, talking to you guys today, which is fine. And I love doing this as well. And it's now 2.11. And in like five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna go get my boys. and gonna have a nice, calm, hopefully calm and relaxing afternoon with the two of them. So for me, this is still the ideal reset day. Um, guess what? I didn't even unpack my suitcase because for me, unpacking it is not reset. 
for me, resetting is doing exactly what I need to do for me, not what somebody else thinks I should be doing, whether that is not switching on the laptop at all or uh, going for a massage or just spending the day in bed watching Netflix, you know, and if, if that's what it is for you, then you need to do that. But it's about doing what you need and, and, and owning what you need and being okay with what you need when you need to reset. Each of us are different, okay? Each of our self-care is different based on our personalities and on our needs. And just because I reset um, and my reset still involves doing something for work, doesn't mean it's not a, a proper reset, okay? So you need to do what works for you, but you need to do it. You need to be aware, you need to be mindful of when you've pushed and pushed and pushed yourself or you've gone beyond your comfort zone or you've just done really, really intense work and go, okay, let's be kind to myself, let's have some self-compassion and reset, you know, and it might be an hour of reset that you need or it might be a whole day that you need. Um, and I would encourage you to have more regular reset times or periods or days or however long you need because that's going to just help you to function much better and more effectively between your resets okay ah. let me just check for any other comments i hope that was helpful I am very excited, of course, that in, I think, less than two weeks, I'll be running a, a even more intensive weekend, my Get It Done residential retreat. I can't wait for that. And the next big thing after that is when I kick off my national tours again. So if you haven't been to any of my one-day private practice success workshops now is the time okay i only run two a year um i do two in brisbane two in sydney then we go to melbourne i do two there and then i go to perth and i do um the one tour is at the start of the year the second one in the second half of the year so i'm doing brisbane in july and if you miss this one brisbane the next one is only february next year and and that's how it works for each capital city so be sure to book your seat i would love to meet you in person and you know, uh, and I always say this, and it continues to be the best part of that day, is to be surrounded and be in a room with other like-minded private practice owners. That isolation that you feel day in and day out of being a private practice owner is completely shattered on that day. Um, people walk out there just feeling lifted feeling inspired, feeling motivated, feeling like, yes, I know exactly what I need to do and I can do it now because I know I'm not the only one struggling. All of us, there's this combined consciousness around private practice and how and what you need to do in order to be successful that emerges on that day and it's just such a great experience so what i might do is pop the link to that workshop in the comment section and i would love to meet um, all of you in person if if you haven't been i know a lot of you have been there already but those that haven't please uh, come and join us it's an amazing day Alrighty, I'm going to leave you for now. Um, yes, whatever you're doing, have a great day. And remember, as always, all you need to do is say yes to creating and enjoying your ultimate level five private practice. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.